Grab your dough, squeeze it between your fingers like this and you have a perfectly sized ball. So next, you are going to place it on your surface and you are going to shape your hands like grabbing an imaginary ball, a spoon, between your hands and you start to spin it like this. You see, it starts to get pretty wrong. There you go. It takes a little practice and you got perfectly shaped ball. So, if you put your pulas to rest for about 20 minutes before continuing. Before that, make sure you kind of paint them a little bit with just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of water like this. This is going to prevent them from breaking, from making a shell when they dry too much and breaking when they grow. Remember, they grow all the time. So just a little bit of water will be enough. Now that we have waited 20 minutes, around 20 minutes is more than enough. You can go to check out their balls or buns and you can see they have grown already. You see they are a little bit bigger, but they again have become a little bit dry on the outside. So to, to stop them from breaking, making a shell and breaking when they are baking in the oven. So you wanna go again and humidify them a little bit. A little bit of water, remember, not too much. We are gonna do the next. Okay, we are going to decorate the buns right before putting them in the oven. And what we are going to do first is to beat one egg in one little tiny bowl or a plate, any way you want. This is a beaten egg. And Right after that, we start to paint, let's say it that way, paint each of our, each of our buns with a little bit of beaten egg, like this. Remember doing it carefully, very softly. This is gonna give them a little bit uh, more shine when they come out the oven, and they are nicer looking. And it would also help us to help our sugar to stick together, because we are going to decorate them with sugar. Buns are almost ready to go to the oven. The last step we are going to make before putting this in the oven is uh, applying a little bit of this sugar. This sugar in Finland is for decorating. As you see, it's very hard sugar and it's mainly used for, for decorating, you know, cakes, buns, and other kinds of uh, bakery stuff. So, you wanna go, oh, before this, I'm going to give you my secret recipe. You go, we call this a butter eye in Finland, boisilma. So you wanna go and grab a little bit of room temperature butter like this with your finger, doesn't matter, your hands are clean. And you wanna go and press with your middle finger a little bit the center of each pulla and add a little bit of sugar in it, you see? And you add just a little bit, you don't need much. This is gonna give a touch and a nice flavor too. And that's it. And now we can continue with our sugar. First, we are just simply, simply just adding a little bit of sugar on top of each one. This is very easy and this is the last step before, before going straight to the oven like this. You can add as much as you want. I'd rather add just a little bit because we are going to we are going to make a very sweet filling for, for our buns. So I don't want much sugar on them. Place our buns in the oven at 225 Celsius degrees for over 12 minutes. It, depending on the heat and the type of oven you have, you can put them from 10 to 11 minutes. You have to be very careful on watching them all the time. You don't want them to burn because they get cooked really fast. Check them constantly and 10 minutes later, check the ready, the color. 
when they grow and they get a very very nice uh, golden color they are almost ready this will happen in about 11 or 12 minutes just wait <laughs> the pullas are ready and they look amazing they are really really good and they are really soft and smells really nice it, it smells amazing around yeah. here yeah. <laughs> yeah so now we are just gonna like decorate them and do the final touch for Pasquia's pula what do we do first? Okay. First, uh, the first thing you have to do after taking your buns out of the oven is to wait for them to cool down. So you want to do it very, you know, very hot. You don't want to burn your hands. So, well, when they are ready by cool down a little bit, you just take a knife, very sharp knife, and uh, just cut them by half. You just open them up. Yes, yeah. coming on. Yeah, very yum, nice. delicious. So, so then, uh, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna take the wiping cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Wipe wait, cream. not before applying a layer of marmalade first. Ah, oh, okay, first yeah, marmalade. Okay. So it can be any kind of marmalade you want, but the traditional one is, uh, you know, strawberry or raspberry. So that's the finish way. So you just add, you just take the bottom of your, of your bone. You just add gently some marmalade like this. You can even remove the fruit. And not too much, just, just a little bit. Okay. And then, yeah, the whipped cream. Mm. And voila. This is traditional Fat Tuesday buns. Last kia is pulla. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's continue with the other one. There we go. And here we go. Oh, it's amazing. It is. Look at these babies ready to be eaten. <laughs> thank you very much, Evelyn. It was amazing. Oh, really, thank really good recipe, and I think it's very easy for everyone to do at home. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you for thank inviting you. me. Uh, so it's very nice to show everybody how to make this yes. traditional stuff. And I hope you enjoy it and try it at home. It's very easy. And I hope that we have Evelyn more often yeah, here so she can you. teach us how to make Finnish food. And I don't know, maybe some other Mexican recipes or whatever you have. Yeah, in sure your book. we will. Sure we yes. will. Okay, you're gonna see you're gonna see it soon. Okay. Okay. So, so let's have go. We? Shall we? Yes. Um, so, one, okay. two, three. For all your anger, all your frustrations on it. Like this. And then, there you go. See? And then, you be sure you have someone to assist you in there. Hey. Give me five here. Give me five. Now. 